started this as ILO and with ICA, uh, the International Cooperative Alliance. We also have other uh, institutions, allies joining, and it's an open access uh, initiative, whoever wants to join. Cooperatives brings producers together. They make it easier for members to buy inputs and access to markets and credit, gain new information technology. At least 15% of the world's adult population are co-owners of a cooperative. According to conservative estimates, cooperatives directly employ above 50 million people and are key to maintaining the jobs and income of over 500 million people. A thumbnail sketch of the International Cooperative Alliance, the global body which, as you've heard, unites, represents and serves cooperatives. It's a member organisation overwhelmingly owned and funded by its 280 member organisations in 100 countries. Our major national apex body or multinational cooperative enterprises, most of which have hundreds or thousands of primary cooperatives in membership themselves. To develop a financial structure that lies at the heart of credit unions, cooperative banks and cooperative insurance. As son and grandson of farmers, I learned early on how important agriculture is, both in rural and urban communities. I also know the challenge farmers face in the world, especially small-scale farmers. To get better results of a large scale, farmers will also need collective action, technical and policy support. Cooperatives can be a great help. When we talk about sustainability, another core element, we're not simply talking about the need for economic growth based on the health of our planet. Rather, uh, we see sustainability as a wider set of important indicators. Of course, the fundamental need to find a way to sustain the planet for the future is a, it's absolutely vital but also the embedding of, of sound human relationships, both economic and social. The reduction of poverty, good governance and business ethics, the evolution of local and national structures free from despotism and corruption, all of these based on participation and engagement with wider society. Cooperatives and the potential that they represent are a significant and growing feature of the development strategies promoted by the United Nations, not only in the work of the Division for Social Policy and Development in DESA, but across the system. At the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development, Rio Plus 20, the international community recognized the role that cooperatives play in advancing key aspects of development, such as social inclusion and poverty reduction. We need to harness these advantages and support the development of a vibrant cooperative sector across the world. Most of these cooperative members have obtained or are obtaining through their cooperatives the highest possible level of formality which they can possibly attain considering the environment in which they live. 